Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, there is a huge trade rumor going on right now, guys. There's multiple sources for this. Uh, pretty much saying that the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be knocking on the door of the San Antonio Spurs if Kawhi Leonard is available via trade. So pretty much the trade that I've been, uh, you know, seeing across the internet and stuff right here, uh, going to the transaction report, is Jordan Clarkson, uh, Jetty Osmond, Ante Zizic, and also the Brooklyn Nets first round draft pick in exchange for Kawhi Leonard. Yes, guys, this is the trade that I've been seeing all over the place. So like I was saying, a two season rebuild. You guys got my last rebuild video to 1,000 likes. Remember, guys, for every 500 likes this video gets will be plus one season for my next rebuild. So this video gets to 1,000 likes. The next rebuild will be uh, two seasons. If this video gets to 4,000 likes, we do a freaking eight season rebuild. So guys, if you like the longer rebuilds, be sure to drop a like on this video. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to know your guys' thoughts on if this trade went down. It, of course, would give a lottery pick over to the San Antonio Spurs. They would get uh, Jordan Clarkson, who would be a nice point guard for their team or shooting guard. Uh, Zizic looks like, looks like he was uh, something pretty good in the NBA. Uh, Jetty Osmond has, has some pretty good moments for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And all of a sudden, this Cavs team has the super team to compete against the Golden State Warriors and the rest of the other super teams in the NBA. Uh, not to mention, man, like LeBron James, he does have that player option. So I do think in this instance, he would probably accept that player option because it would give him one de uh, a one-year deal with the Cavaliers and a chance to try out playing alongside Kawhi Leonard to see how the things work out along those lines. And if not, then after this NBA season, uh, he would probably go to a team like the Lakers or the 76ers who would be even more closer to being, you know, contenders in the NBA. Uh, we still got Kevin Love on this team, so I really don't see any reason to trade him. I feel like he would be the perfect fit along this team right here. LeBron James would continue to play small forward. We got Kawhi. Uh, probably shift him over to the shooting guard position just because, like, we need him playing somewhere, right? Now, ultimately, I would like to make some sort of deal to bring in a uh, defensive-oriented center. I guess at times, Kevin Love could play center, LeBron at power forward, and Kawhi Leonard at small forward. We could go with that route, uh, but it's not really ideal in my opinion. Uh, this team is pretty much lacking at point guard. Like, George Hill is okay and everything. I mean, last NBA season, 10 points for game three assists. Like, if he has to start, that's fine. He wouldn't be asked to do too much. Kind of do like that uh, Mario Chalmers role, the Miami Heat with LeBron James, and just kind of shoot three-pointers, uh, play some defense. You still got J.R. Smith, who probably needs to go to a different team about this time, guys. He had a really bad season. Like, he's just not playing good basketball right now. Uh, still got Kyle Corver, Tristan Thompson still on this team, too. So, maybe we can trade him for something out there. I really don't know because... Uh, Having Ronnie Hood and Larry Nance off the bench is really nice, but I do think we should probably trade one of those guys away. I'm kind of leaning towards Larry Nance uh, for a center, so I might look to go that route things. But yeah, so let's get started on this. Let's go to that trade finder, see what we can do right away. Um, although I guess what we do have the NBA offseason because we are like after, you know, right for the NBA draft. So I'm going to skip on the NBA draft just because I know personally we are not going to have a good draft pick anyway because, I mean, the Cavaliers are in the playoffs and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, they don't have a uh, draft pick or anything because we got we had a trade over to the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, team player options. We got LeBron James accepted this player option. I kind of thought he would in this instance. So, yeah, I'm definitely happy about that. Qualifying offers. Rodney Hood. We are going to extend that to him for $3.47 uh, million. Only 25. And um, realistically, it's like I do like him as a six-man off our bench anyway. He totally could start for uh, on times at this team, especially if... You know, we go with that small ball lineup with Kevin Love at center, LeBron at power forward, because then he could play small forward or shooting guard alongside Kawhi Leonard. Uh, moratorium period. Okay, so we probably don't have too much money freed up here. Yeah, we're gonna, we definitely don't have a lot of money. Negative $74 million in the cap. Of course, we can renounce some rights here real quick, so I think I'm going to do that. Um, although, even with that, guys, really don't have a lot of rights. or uh, like The cap hole is not even that bad. We just have a lot of bitch-ass contracts. So... Yeah, as far as free agency goes, uh, not too much is going to go on right here. I kind of wish a guy like DeAndre Jordan would take less money to play on this team, but we all know that's not going to happen. He's probably going to want to go for a big-time contract. Um, as far as other centers to go for, like I said, man, trade probably seems like the best bet right about now. Uh, I don't like a ton of these guys available. Like, Brooke Lopez would be okay, but it doesn't really bring any defense at all. Greg Monroe at least can rebound the basketball. We can't even afford him. So, uh, yeah, definitely let's go to that trade find real quick, guys, because we might be able to save some money. And do something with that. So I'm actually going to do a trade of... I'm going to try to get rid of Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith in the same deal. I feel like those guys could go to a contending team outside of the Cleveland Cavaliers. I feel like they just need a new home and maybe help them out. Um, so we got Rakan Holmes, Justin Anderson, Jerry and Grant, Costa Kufis, Luol Deng. So not really a lot of great offers right here. Kenneth Fareed, that's actually not a bad little deal right there. Yes, it is some bitch-ass contracts. But I mean, uh, Mason Plumlee, um, I really don't get him that often. He didn't have a great season on Denver, of course... 
It's like he was a bank of the Jokic, so he might just need his own opportunity. Not much of a shooter um, as far as his rebounding goes. He does have an 80 defensive rebounder. He's 6'11". His shot block is at 82, so that's pretty solid. And we also get kind of freed on this team here, too. Who I? I feel like in the right circumstance, still has a lot to offer to an NBA team. Like a high-energy guy off the bench for us. 98 offensive rebounds. About all he does. He doesn't really block shots at all. But I'm kind of good with that. We do have to give him a first-round draft pick. Um, but yeah, so it's like the case that we don't really have a lot of money to spend in free agency, so I might as well get guys that I can like that I feel like can help out this team better. So I do like this deal a lot right here. It also makes a guy like Larry Nance probably a little bit more uh disposable, although I could point him at a small forward. Um, or I could even try this out, man. Let, let, let me let me try this out. Let me go to roster. Let's try kind of free at center. I feel like in a small ball line, he could definitely could run that. So I might try that out, guys. I don't know, man. How do y'all feel about that? Um, he might actually try to start over Mason Plumlee, which I would almost be okay with in a small ball instance. It's like his defense isn't great, but the rebounding, it's like he, he can't be any worse than what Tristan Thompson was doing. Um, so now show how I quite feel about that. I'm gonna keep my power forward just for now. So we'll see how the rest of everything else goes here. Um, as far as everything else, I mean we can go with trade finder. Still need, kind of want to get a better point guard. So I might actually offer up George Hill. Because Larry Nance is 80 overall. He's kind of a beast. So I mean like. I really don't want to get rid of all that much. Maybe just George Hill, and I'll even toss in a future first-round draft pick, see if I can upgrade that point guard position, get a little bit younger there. Uh, Jeremy and Grant, 75 overall. We also get Justin Holiday, who would be a pretty solid, you know, three-point shooter off our bench. Uh, Jeremy and Grant, though, it's like he's on the Bulls right now, kind of uh, getting backup minutes now due to Chris Dunn kind of emerging on that team. Plus, they might draft a guy like Trey Young. Ooh, Patrick Beverly, guys. Patrick Beverly is very nice, very cheap, too. Um, I would rather have Patrick Beverly right now instead of George Hill. The only thing, though, is that we do have to give him that first-round draft pick, but it's not really going to be that valuable for us anyway. Um, as far as other ones out here, not really... You're not really, Patty Mills, solid. We also get Zizich back, but I don't really see that happening. Uh, what is got, man? Yeah, I like Patty Mills. Tyus Jones, give him a chance to start. No, man, I feel like Patrick Beverly is, like, the ideal player to put on this team. Just defense and also the ability to shoot three-pointers. Perfect fit. It's worth giving up that draft pick. And we lose that one-year player option of George Hill anyway. Um, as far as our money situation now, we are still negative $61 million. So not too much more is going to happen. I do want to sign a backup point guard. Um, so like maybe a Shabazz, a Van Vliet would be pretty solid to have. Ty Lawson, Chief McConnell. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to try Andrew Harrison out, guys. Just because like he's only 23. I feel like his range is only going to go up uh, more from here. 78 three-point shot. 6'6", six, six, has some great height. So yeah, let's give him a... I'm going to give him like a two-year contract. See what we can do with him. Maybe like $2 million a season. I feel like he would accept that. Plus, he gets to play on Cleveland. Uh, good right there. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead, similar to the beginning of the regular season, make sure we get the boy Rodney Hood back. Okay, so this is what the final team looks like for this first season. We got Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard as shooting guard. LeBron at small forward. Kevin Love at power forward. Mason Plumlee. We're going to try him at certain uh, position. If he does bad, well, maybe we'll make a trade midway through season. Uh, Larry Nance. I decide, guys, to put him at the small forward position. So him and Kenneth Freed. It's like those guys are going to be some hustle guys off the bench. Unfortunately, as far as their offense goes, um, I guess Larry Nance has a pretty decent mid-range shot. Uh, Kenneth Fareed, not much of an offensive player. We already kind of know that about him. Rodney Hood, though, is going to make some offense off the bench. Same with Andrew Harris. So, yeah, we're going to go with the nine-man rotation. Then we got some filler players out here at times if we need them. But, yeah, this team right here, man, I think could definitely, no doubt, win the NBA championship. So, let's go ahead and simulate this season and see just how good this Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James team can really do. Okay, so we have two of the top five players in the NBA on the same team, guys. A record of 67-4 and four team. Uh, this team was absolutely fantastic. I think the Celtics got second place, 76ers. Can't really see because 2K is a glitch to Mets at times. Uh, similarly through day here. And finish the W against the Toronto Raptors. MVP goes towards Russell Westbrook still. Uh, averaging that triple-double. DeAndre Ingen, Rookie of the Year on the Memphis Grizzlies. Marcus All six men. <laughs> Come on, y'all going to bring a bench Marcus All like that. Giannis defensive player, the Aaron Fox, most improved, and Tyrone Liu, aka LeBron's assistant coach, getting coach of the year. All NBA first team, we do have LeBron James making that. Yo, freaking god damn, DeAndre Aiden, what kind of numbers you put up, man? Oh my god, in his first season, getting that uh, All NBA first team. 20 points, 11 rebounds, three blocks per game for the seven foot one man out of Arizona. That is absolutely insane. All NBA second, we got Kawhi Leonard making that, and here is the All NBA third team. Um, Defensively, I'm sure, you know, we got yo, Wendell Carr making that okay. And we also got LeBron James, Noah, Kawhi Leonard. No, no, wait, Kawhi made all defensive first. So, yeah, defensively, this team was great, too. Uh, let's check out these players' stats here real quick. We got LeBron James at 26 points, 9 rebounds, and about 10 assists per game. 1.7 steals. Kawhi Leonard, 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists, and 2 steals, and a block per game. 
the great thing about this team too is guys if lebron james does decide to walk they still have Kawhi leonard so that's like not really much of a setback at all is it if anything it might be better for the cleveland cavaliers uh kevin love has 16 points nine rebounds three four assists out there 11 points for ronnie hood off the bench um Larry Nance and Kevin Free both averaged nine points per game. Both got the rebounds. I absolutely love both those guys together off the bench. Patrick Beverly doing his thing as the starting point guard. Uh, did just enough out there. You know, nine points, six assists. We really did not need him to do much more than that. And even a uh, Mason Plumley. I mean, I usually kind of roast the Plumley bros out there, but this dude's actually not too bad. Eight points, seven rebounds, one block per game. I was kind of hoping for double digit reboundings, but you are playing on a team that definitely has a lot of good rebounders. And Kevin Love, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James. So, I mean, he did okay, and he wasn't really that much money either. I think it was like a one season contract. So, now we have the NBA uh, playoffs here. Toronto Raptors in the first round. Similar current round here. And, uh, well, that was easy. Four games, zero against the Toronto Raptors. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you all think about this trade. Like, would you be happy if this happened or would you be kind of mad? I mean, personally, I would love to see Cleveland go against the Warriors in this case with this type of squad out there. Just because, like, Kawhi Leonard could get revenge against the team that freaking knocked him out due to Zaza, bitch-ass Pachulia. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. Similar current round and got <laughs> swept them four games to zero. Yo, man, we got sweeps everywhere, man. Looking like a goddamn, I don't know. I was going to say some joke about the, the cleaning aisle of a store, but it wasn't that funny, so I kind of backed off it. Um, Now, saying it right now, still is not funny. Okay, here we go. 76ers. Similar current round. I mean, they got a win on us, so good for them. Uh, Golden State Warriors got knocked out four games to three against the Houston Rockets. Yeah, this team is just unstoppable. Like, defensively, offensively, just everybody doing work out there. Kenneth Reed, uh, about a double-double out there, too. Next up, the Houston Rockets, who are the number one seed. Similar current round. And, guys, we beat them four games, 2-3. LeBron James getting that finals MVP at 24 points, 11 assists, and 6 rebounds per game. You know what? Real quick here, let's check out the rest of the playoff stats before we get to the next season. Uh, it's looking like that. So, yeah, man, like Larry Nance, I'm really happy we did not trade him because I was so close to doing it. But he was such a big part of this team right here. Um, I also like to, I, I did manage like the minutes a bit better this rebuild just because usually I kind of am kind of like the Tom Thibodeau of rebuilders where I give dudes like 40 minutes per game. I'm sure you guys all know that, but it's all good, man. I try to spread the love in a little bit more this time around and it worked out for us. Uh, let's get to this next NBA season though. As far as like the NBA draft, not doing too much with that. Let's go straight to rookie signings and see how that all goes from there. Uh, hope, really like the big deal with this free agency is getting LeBron James back. Actually, you know, it's Kawhi Leonard. Oh my god, yo, Kawhi Leonard don't have a... I think he got a player option, so hopefully he accepts that. Team player options. Uh, Kawhi Leonard declined his player option. Okay, so he's looking to get paid. I don't blame him. Only He was only making $21 million. Definitely a max contract player. Uh, Larry Nance, hopefully he uh, accepts that just because, like, we have a lot of money we need to spend right now, and, you know, Larry Nance for $3 million would be huge for our team. Moratorium, we got... Oh my god, dude, come on, LeBron. Okay, we're going to throw you that max offer, boy. Come on, come on, bro. Please, man. Stay in Cleveland. Y'all want another championship. You and Kawhi Leonard, you got to get, get, uh, get on the phone together and be like, yo, man, we can do this again. Get the player option for him, okay? Kawhi Leonard, same as Song and Dance. You're going to get max contract money. I don't care if I got to trade with every single other player on this team besides LeBron James to get this done. Uh, but, yeah, 2K really undersells this guy. Like, you all giving him, like, $26 million. He's a max contract player, so I'm giving him max contract money. Player option for you also. Okay, we got LeBron. Can I also get Kawhi? I can get uh, Kawhi Leonard also. Uh, we're not going to have any money at all, but that's all good. I'm like, I'm kind of okay with that. I do want to try to get kind of Fareed back. We do have bird rights on him, so give him a three-year deal. Uh, Larry Nance is about to accept an offer with the Pacers. For Oh, my God, dude. Okay. I totally am going to accept that just because, like, I mean, oh, that is $21 million a season for a bench player, but it's like... He's better than Tristan Thompson. Thomas got a bitch. Uh, Thompson got a bitch ass contract. So I feel like Larry Nance at least is more worth it. So I am going to match this. I don't feel great about it. Uh, Kenneth Free. Okay, I'm really happy I did that now because Kenneth Free decided to go to the Spurs. So we kind of save face with that. Uh, what other kind of uh, contracts we got here that we can sign up? Kind of need a backup power forward or small forward now. I guess not really because Ronnie Hood can play small forward. We can put Larry Nance back at the um, power forward position. So. Maybe we can get a cheap guy right here, like Wayne Ellington. He would be nice for this team. 31 years of age. I feel like that rain is going to drop big time, though. Hopefully not too much. So he agrees to that. Uh, center position. Yo, do we still have Plumlee? I think he might have been on a two-year deal, actually. Yeah, we, we still have Plumlee for one year, $14 million. I'm cool with that, too. Uh, we do need a backup center, though. So let's go with maybe a JaVale McGee. Ooh, shit, man. I can't afford nobody now, man. I'm broke as hell. Marcin Gortas, 77 overall. I know that rain's dropping big time, too, but... uh. 
I'm, I'm all for the money. Just because, like, from a bench standpoint, I would totally take Marcin Gortat. So, if he wants to be on my team. Maybe he doesn't want to be out here. All right, we got Marcin Gortat to the mini deal. He realized nobody else was going to sign him up. Uh, besides for that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so having to give out those Mags contracts kind of hurt the pocketbook a little bit right there by a little bit. I mean, a lot. We were not able to get Patrick Beverly or Ronnie Hood back on this team. But, I mean, like, we were able to sign Frank Mason. I just got him real quick. So, I mean, like, he's going to be our starting point guard for now. Um, hopefully, he can become, like, the most improved player. Uh, really good three-point shooter, guys. Shot 55% last season, so he's exactly what we need. He's only 5'11", so going from Patrick Beverly, who's really good at defense, to Frank Mason. Uh, might hurt us defensively, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, we still got Larry Nance. We got Wayne Ellington now here, who's going to play some good minutes off the bench for us. He was at nine points per game last NBA season. Andrew Harrison should be pretty decent. Um, and we also got Marcin Gortat, who's going to grab some rebounds and score a little bit in the paint. So, yes. Uh, besides that, though, it's like anytime you got Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James on the same team, you have a chance to win a championship. So, I don't think this team is as good as last season. Uh, but I still think it's good enough where we can win a championship. So, let's go ahead, guys. Simulate this final season and see just how good this team can really do. Okay, so once again, a very good season. 62-19 and 19 on it. One more game against the Miami Heat. Simulate through date and a big time. Well, not really a big time W. Just a W against them. Uh, LeBron James again, MVP this time around, guys. 28 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. RJ uh, Barrett, rookie of the year for the Portland Trailblazers. Marcus Hall getting six man once again with Giannis getting defensive player and Jante Porter, uh, most improved. I have no idea who that is. Tyrone uh, Coach of the Year. All NBA first team. We do have Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James both making that. X can do a little bit more this season since the roster's not as good, but uh, I mean, they're to that time a type of talent, so it's like they had no problem doing that. Player stats on the season, see how everybody else did. So we got Kawhi Leonard at 24 points, seven rebounds, four assists. About two, three steals and one block per game. Uh, Kevin Love, same, similar stats to last season. Uh, Wayne Ellington, 11 points off the bench. So, I know we lost Ronnie Hood, but, I mean, Wayne Ellington kind of picked up that slack. Frank Mason is our starting point guard. I actually like those numbers a lot. 11 points, three rebounds, and seven assists for the um, 5'11 dude out there. So, nice to see him ball out. I know a lot of people like Frank Mason. Uh, Larry Nance, 10 points, seven rebounds. We got Mason Plumlee, eight points, seven rebounds out there. So, yeah, just really... A uh, big team effort from the bench, and really the whole team in general. Uh, first round of the playoffs, we do have the Charlotte Hornets. Simulate current round. I really don't see us losing in the playoffs, guys. I mean, maybe in the finals, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got the freaking Hawks in the damn second round. Yo, close out game 29 and 11 assists for LeBron James. 24, Wayne Ellington. Damn, dude, who is balling? Next up, the Atlanta Hawks. Simulate current round here. Yo, I was about to say, man, we, I thought we were about to lose to them real quick. After me just roasting, we got 19 assists for LeBron James, beating them 132 to 93 in the closeout game. Next up, the 76ers trust the process. And I talk too much shit, guys. I can't get mad. I can't even get mad. There will be no raging this video because I talk shit. And I said we were going to sweep our way to the playoffs. We lost in the Eastern Conference Finals to uh, a very, very good 76ers team. I mean, this team added even more talent to their squad out there. So, yeah, good for them. I mean, I'm really happy we won the championship that first season. We'll see about the rest of the playoffs here. And, uh, well, the bitch-ass Warriors won. I was kind of hoping for the 76ers. Anyway, guys, give me your thoughts on Kawhi Leonard to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my